What's up, Get Better Basketball community? I'm Coach DeMarco, and this is Focus. In today's episode, I'm going to share with you a great drill that you can use with your team to work on closeouts that I call Warrior Closeouts because I got it from the Merrimack Warriors men's basketball team. It's a drill that's really, really simple, but I love it because it engages all five defenders on the court at the same time time. Really, really simple setup for this drill. Going to have a coach or maybe a manager up at the top of the key in this spot right here. You're going to have a player on the wing or perhaps a manager, player on the bottom corner, player in this corner, and player on this wing. Now, when Merrimack does it, it appears that they have managers in these spots out on the perimeter as a college basketball team. You could certainly do this with your players in these spots, and I'll even show you how you can rotate them in and out of this drill. So to start this drill, you're going to have this player on the wing with the basketball. This player is going to have a basketball. The coach up at the top or the manager, whoever it is, is going to have a basketball. This player is going to have a basketball, and this player is going to have a basketball. So the five players on the perimeter are going to have basketballs. We're going to have one player in the middle at the high post area who will not have a basketball, and I'll explain how that's going to work with your team. So Merrimack is going to have a 2-3 setup because that's what they use defensively primarily. You could use this with for man-to-man -to, -man to teach closeouts as well. Um, but I'm going to show you out of the 2-3 setup because that's what you're going to see in the video that I show you when we see Merrimack use it later on. So really simple. On the first whistle, these two guards are going to lean in. Looks like they kind of touch hands and these two forwards touch hands as well. And then they're going to sprint out and they are going to close out to these players with the basketball out on the wing. They're going to use a short, choppy step, high hand closeout. And another reason I like this drill is because that's not the only closeout they're going to do. We'll see later on they're going to use a different type of closeout in this drill. But to start, that's what they're going to work with. The other thing that's going to happen on that first whistle, so all players are going to disperse and close out. This coach or manager, player, whoever it is, is going to throw to the high post, and we're going to get a closeout from this defender. So all five defenders are going to be engaged in closing out to the basketball. So we're going to have this player with the basketball as well. So what it's going to look like is we're going to have our X's, who are our defenders, out here having closed out on their players. These players are going to work out of triple threat and they're going to move the basketball around and our defenders are going to sort of shadow the basketball with their hand, ball, 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 and they're going to work for X amount of seconds until that next whistle blows, which I'll get to in a minute. Same thing here. This player is going to defend the ball. The only difference I saw with this high post player is they actually had this player dribble a little bit downhill and had this defender sort of rotate with that player as they were looking to attack downhill. So all five players are engaged. Now, when the next whistle blows, that's when the chaos is going to ensue. On the next whistle, we're going to get long closeouts from these players and really exaggerated long closeouts, right? They're going to go all the way across the court. We're going to get these forwards all the way across the court, all the way across the court. But now it's not going to be a short choppy step high hand closeout. This defender is going to fly by closeout which is something you hear a lot of coaches talk about now to run shooters off the line. We're going to get a flyby closeout down the bottom. We're going to get a flyby closeout and on this side, another player flying by and closing out. One of the things I really like actually when you see the clip is that this defender in one of the clips is actually going to fly by and they're going to turn back and they're going to pop the basketball out. So they're not going to just fly by, but they're going to recover to the basketball. So we had our short choppy step closeouts. Now we have our longer closeouts. We're going to fly by to those shooters. Same thing here. We're going to get a pass back up to the top. And this defender also 
is going to get a flyby closeout. So all five defenders are going to be engaged in the action once again. Now, as that happens, obviously our circles are still going to have the basketball out on the perimeter. So we have our circle here. Our coach is going to have the basketball. Circle here doesn't have the basketball. Circle on the wing has the basketball. And this circle down here has the basketball. Now, our players who closed out are out here after their long closeouts. What Merrimack does is they have five players ready to step right back on the court. They sprint right up. They get into position. And they are ready for the next round. And they do this for a couple of minutes, you'll see in the clip. You could put two minutes on the clock, three minutes on the clock, whatever you want to rep with your team, but they're going to rotate these players on the court. Now, if you're a high school program, you might say, I don't have this next group. I'm not going to have, you know, 15, 16 players to go. Two groups of five on defense, and six players out in the perimeter. I don't have that many managers. So very, very simple. All I would do if I was a high school coach with just 10 players, I'd have my <clears throat> coach up at the top. I would just have these circles now come in and I would have them be my defenders. And we can get right back into this drill again. Circle, my circle over here. And I would have my circle over here. And I would have my X's come, come in and I would have them be my offensive players with the basketball. So now my X players have the basketball. And now you rep it with this group of players. And they're going to rotate out. They're going to close out. They're going to close out, close out, close out, pass in, close out. And now we rep this again <clears throat> repeatedly over and over again. So fast-paced, high-tempo drill. There's probably a couple of different ways that you can go live with this drill and make it more of an SSG to advance it. You can think about how you could make a pass off of this, and then you could go live with the next whistle. That's up to you as a coach if you want to do it. But I love these Warrior closeouts because you get all five players engaged. They're all moving. They're all working together in unison. Nobody's standing around, and you get a lot of reps full speed. Warrior closeout, it's a great drill. I'm going to show you it right now, but make sure you hit that like button. If you like this drill, turn on your notifications, subscribe to get better basketball on YouTube. Let's check out, let's check out the video of the Merrimack Warriors in action. Warrior closeouts will definitely improve your team's ability to close out this season. Make sure you rep it in practice with your team.